Today we have this device from M5 Stack that is the Atom Echo. Now this is a smart speaker that has a microphone as well as a speaker in built into it. So today we will look at how we can integrate this with Home Assistant and then invoke Home Assistant devices using the voice commands with the wake word Hey Jarvis. So with this, let's get started. Now, for the assist pipeline, you need three components. One is Whisper for speech to text. Then we have Piper for text to speech. And finally, we will require the open wake word to actually use the wake word to invoke the assist pipeline. So now I have created this video here, which I've linked here, wherein I have shown you how actually you can configure all of these three components using the Home Assistant add-ons in Home Assistant and set up the entire assist pipeline. So refer to that particular video. I will also put the link into the description below so that you can set up this entire pipeline with all these three components. So once you have actually configured all of these three components and set up the assist pipeline, we will actually see how we can flash this particular Atom Echo and connect it to Home Assistant so that we can invoke the wake word. So before this, let me show you the assist pipeline. So let's consider you have actually configured your assist pipeline. So let me go to settings and I'm going to go to voice assistant. And here I have this particular pipeline here. So here I have whisper for speech to text. Then I have Piper for text to speech. And then finally, I have the open wake word that is Hey Jarvis. I like this particular wake word, so I'm going to use this. So now what we're going to do is we are actually going to configure our Atom Echo. So for this, ESP Home provides this ready-made project section. So I'll provide this particular link into the description below. You will have to open this link in a Chrome browser or an Edge browser. And then what you'll have to do is connect your device using USB to your laptop or your computer. So right now I've connected mine to my laptop here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this particular voice assistant option. And then I'm going to select this particular device that is this Atom Echo. And then I'm going to click on connect. And here I'm going to actually now pair this particular device. So now it's connecting here. So now I had already actually flashed this. I'm going to actually reflash this. So I'm going to say install voice assistant and I'm going to click on install here. So now this will actually install the binary required such that we can use the particular microphone as well as a speaker inside this particular Atom Echo. So now let's give it some time such that it actually finishes flashing. So now the installation is all complete. Now the next step that we have to do is add it to Home Assistant. So I'm going to click on next here. And then I'm going to specify the Wi-Fi credentials that I'm using here. And then I'm going to click on connect. So now this will actually connect this device to my Wi-Fi network. And now let's add it to Home Assistant. So I'm going to click on add to Home Assistant. And I'm going to click on this open link wherein I have my IP address configured to my home assistant. So I'm going to click on open link and then it's going to ask me, do you want to set up an ESP home? I'm going to say, okay. And then it's going to show me this particular discovered M5 Atom Echo. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click on submit. So with this, actually the Atom Echo is now configured in a home assistant. Now, in case if this particular option doesn't show up for you, what you can do is you can click on this add integration and then you can search for ESP home here. Now here, what you'll have to do is you will have to specify the IP address of this device with which it has connected to your Wi-Fi network and then click on submit. You don't have to change any port number here. Just keep it as is. Now what we have to do is the main fun part that is actually invoke the assist pipeline. So now for this, what I have here is I have this dummy button. So it's a button that I've created using the helper option. And this is like consider you have a particular switch that you have configured in Home Assistant. So this is actually not doing anything, but it's just turning on and turning off. OK, so now I'm going to try and actually turn on this particular light switch. So hey Jarvis, turn on the light. So as you can see, it has actually turned on this particular light. Hey Jarvis, turn off the light. So here you could see that 
I could turn on and turn off this particular switch using the wake word actually. So now if you want to see further how actually this particular integration looks like, let's go to ESP home here. And here you will see the device as well as seven entities. So I'm going to click on this device and here you can see that we have these various options wherein we can actually now turn off this particular light. So, so let me show it to you here. So I hope you can see this. There's a particular purple light inside. I can actually turn it off. So let's turn it on here. And then you can also use or disable using the wake word using this particular option. So if I put it off right now and put it on, you can see that it turns on and turns off. So this is the option that are provided right now inside this particular flashed binary that you have inside this particular Atom Echo. Now there is one major thing that you will have to look at is whenever you have certain switches that is kind of not getting triggered or it's not recognizing, one of the things that you can debug is go to this particular switch entity like for example let me go to this particular one which i had created i'm going to go to this helper section because i had created this particular dummy button using this helper but mostly your switches will be under the devices and entities so right now i'm going to go here and i'm going to click on this gear icon and then i'm going to look at this particular option here so this option here tells you whether this particular entity is exposed to the voice assistant or not. So if you have this option off here, that means this will not be available to your voice assistant. You will have to turn it on and then afterwards, if you want, you can specify a particular alias, like another name for this specific device. Like I have specified here, like it's a light. You can give it another name such that you can actually use that name while invoking this particular device. Now, along with this, some of the debugging options that you would have to look at is also the voice assistant pipeline. So let me go to the voice assistant here. And then after I'm going to go open here and then here under this three dots, there's this debug option wherein it actually shows you all the pipeline execution. So let me go back here and you see it has various executions like turn off this particular light here. It shows you how much time it took to actually do the various components. So this is how you can see what was detected, what was transformed as a part of speech to text, and then you can debug this further. Now, if you are planning to buy this particular device, I have links into the description below. Currently it's out of stock, but once it is back in stock, you can actually go ahead and buy it. So today we saw how we can integrate this Atom Echo with Home Assistant and invoke Home Assistant devices. Now in my next video, I'll be actually using an ESP32 with a microphone to invoke Home Assistant using the wake word. So make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as hit that like button for more such videos to come. Till then, take care and I will see you in my next one.